Welcome to Andy Entertainment Corner. Welcome to my new review of the 1988 Chill Play. Since the um, remake is only like a week away, the 20th of June here in Australia, and I thought I'd be watching the original Chill Play and do my review on it. Here it's a um, job play directed by Tom Holland. Here's Tom. The plot is simple. A mother gives her a son a much short after doll for his birthday and he's discovered that it's possessed by a silver silicone. Which is Chagri Chagri Chucky. Okay. Make extra review, super like, dislikes, and disapproval. Good. Start with the likes. You all know that this is directed by Tom Horn, the same guy who directed by guy who, who directed another, another favourite of mine which is Fortnite and this is and Chill Pride 19 and yeah he's also a favourite of mine and here's his film I was discussing that yes I still love his movie very much Phantom Owen done a good job with his film with the story which is which is um came from Don Mancini which is the creator of Child Blow and also John Lithia and from the plot is very similar to Fortnite but it's actually it's got a similar I don't believe you Talk about the story. Little Andy, you know, get the doll from his mother and you find out that he's having wrong with it. You aren't really under his Aunt Maggie dies. He tries to convince his mother and the and the police that it was Chucky who did it. When Aunt Maggie was alive, um, and he wanted, Chucky told Andy that he wanted to watch the 9 o'clock news. But Maggie um, didn't believe it, and Molly told him to go to bed. Yes. And uh, of course he tried to tell his mum, and she didn't believe him. And he tried to tell the cop, of course they, they didn't believe him. When the um was placed in the mineral inter 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 institute, sorry, his mother went home and discovered that the batteries weren't in place Chucky. And she's trying to get him to talk to her and well he come that very vision and that was gonna fuck on me and all that. She's trying to get them to cop who didn't believe Andy that she knows you now knows that so that Chucky that he was correct and Chucky is he's got um something wrong and you know yes he found out that he was and it was correct because he doesn't believe her 
when Corky when Chucky tries to kill Mike, played by um, Chris Crandon, um, he Chucky tried to kill him, and he eventually learned that Chucky is still alive in, in um, this doll, and that he believed both his mother and and Andy. What? Um, so fight night. Similar type of thing. Charlie when is a vampire trying to kill someone in front of him. He's trying to convince his girlfriend, his mother, his friend, here and also another guy by the name of Oh he's a vampire um actor. Um because he doesn't believe him either. When they do believe him she hit the fan. And uh, yeah, from, from the plot is quite similar. Because when she hit the fan in child play, Chucky already killed a few people already, and now Chucky's got to end it. The death can be filmed in the fall, or five actually. They can only call um, Chucky away. Killed by um, Mike Norris, and uh, anyway, Chuggy Ray called um, Live On. He's, he's um, put his soul into a good guy doll, which is, you know, and it comes to Chucky, which is his nickname. The first kill is called Maggie, she gets hit on the head and she goes falling out of the window. Second death is his. Um, Associate of um, Charles Lynn Ray, which is heavy. He died by, the, by um, having an habit explosion quickly. Chucky, you know, he goes in the house and set, sets up the gas going, and, and he fires his gun in the kitchen and pulls the alcohol to his crumbles around him. Second death goes to. Um, which is someone who taught him voodoo and another thing which is um, Dr. Death played by Ray Oliver Chucky you get a video door on him by breaking his arm and leg and another you found out that he has to he found out a way to leave his body he can enter Andy's body then he kills him by by stabbing the video doll with the knife. And finally, the life death is Dr. Death, that which is going, which is the other doctor, um, Dr. Eldenmore. Eldenmore, he's the guy who, well, he doesn't believe any either. He takes him to the, to, into the um, mental institute. Where, and he's going to be assessed for insanity or, or whatever. And it's to what the kill was on you. And I found also the kill track of very, um, very Tom Arnold. Toland. Toland. Yeah, you yeah. know. I found Ricky to go sound very similar to Fortnite. The creepy style of music. You know, the way Chuck is walking around and stuff. It's, it's got the very Star Wars stories of fun. Of course, it's both different though. I love the, um, the visual effects in this film. You know, the animatronic of Chucky. You know, by Chucky and the um, animatronic as well. I wouldn't think there was CGI using this film. It seems more fragile effects. And also it goes into a bit of a Terminator style story at the, in the last part of the film with Chucky going after Andy and went in his apartment. Chucky, you know toasted in the, in, the, in the fire because he looked for that 
take it, he gets shot to bit, he survived that. And then, of course, you find him die getting shot in the heart. That kind of reminds me of Terminator, where they blow him, you know, the Terminator to bit, and he kept on coming after him. I found it very, um, quite similar in ways. Very minor, but yeah, I found that very, very similar. Like I mentioned, the, the car is sold. Find Kappa Hicks as Karen Barkley and Chris Sandlin as Mike Miles. Of course, we've got a young, the young, the young, the young the young actor in the film, played by Alex Finton, as you know, Buckley, as a child actor, he thought he'd done a pretty good job in the film, as he showed a lot of emotions, and like a little kid would. And uh, our film, and, you know, Mary Attaganis, which is Brad, Brad Dorfo, as you know, Charlie Ray, and also Doug the Fox of Chucky. Found a nice series of um, false support on. You laugh. Of course, a lot of cool one liners as, as such as the scene that is in the lift with the um, old folks. Look, George. Some child left their doll in the elevator. Now leave it alone. Whoever left it there will come back looking for it. Ugly doll. Fuck you. Uh, we love that. Uh, the very good job for you is pretty cool. Um, you that can beat a um, a, a, a killer doll, you know, who's possessed by an actual serial killer who gets even with the people who um. Most betrayed him. Yeah, the and the person who taught him everything. Got two victims who were just killed for him, which was called uh, Maggie and Doctor um, Ardmore. Ardmore killed was pretty cool. He seen sent to a crisp. Yeah, um. Not it is a critical fact or animatronic or poetry to you know Chucky's doll, you know, the good the good guy doll. Where he's walking around and stuff and killing people. The probably some special effects how he can't fulfill the wall at him and stuff, how he's walking around all all crispy. Yeah, it's probably you know, it's just practical special effects or very, very well done animatronics or very well um, puppetry. It's a very good score, good story, good, story, good directing. Well, overall, um, I get child play 1988 a 10 out of 10. Thank you for checking out my movie review of the 1988 Child Play. If you like what you see, give me a like. And if, and if you've seen this movie, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. And if you're new to my channel, great. Join the family and subscribe to my channel.